Okay, so today, please let me show you how to create the easiest crumpled paper in the world. As you can see here, there's this scene and there are these paper balls flying in the basket and if you render this image, you can see that they fly and they hit the basket and it's very satisfying. Well, n maybe not, whatever, okay? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create this sphere, change the radius to 3 and zoom in. And now, you might want to find a random effector, hold down shift and enter, and this is going to become a child of this sphere, okay? Now, if you go in this deformer, you can change the, this to polygon, and as you can see, crazy shit is going on on your screen. Now, you can fix this by placing zeros in here, and changing this to, let's say, minus 3. And as you can see, this already looks a bit like crumpled paper. Of course, this is not like the, the very expensive graphics uh, of movies, but this is a very interesting technique how to do this. Now, let me just add this dome light. And let me just try to change this to, I think there was paper here, yeah. I'm gonna use this paper and actually I'm gonna change this to sky rig because just because of the the white background is not really uh, doing us any good okay now this from afar really just looks like crumpled paper you know when it's like flying from afar when of course if you zoom in you can see that there's all kinds of trouble here but the next part of this tutorial will be to show you how you can clone this and actually, I saw this somewhere else, so my apologies if I'm stealing the ideas, but I, I don't remember exactly where I saw this, but someone uh, showed this technique and I used it for this crumpled paper. As you can see here, the problem is, well, the problem in my eyes is that these crumpled paper pieces are, they look awfully similar, and in fact, they are completely similar. Okay, so now what, I, what you can do is you can duplicate the sphere. This is the genius part and it's not my idea. Of course, you might be thinking, yo, this is so genius that only Mr. Anderson can think of this. No, this is not the case this time. Now you can change this random, uh, you can select this random effector and change the seed to let's say um, higher, higher number, whatever. I, I think it's, it doesn't matter. It, what matters is that it's different from this sphere's uh, random. Uh, seed and now you can uh, click on your cloner and I think you can change this to blend and if you if you will zoom in you can see that no paper piece of paper looks uh, alike so now that's it actually now I can go in my previous scene and as you can see here uh, this object uh, this uh, cloner mode is set to object and these spheres and and the object is this emitter here as you can see and there's also this dynamics body tag here which simply makes these uh, spheres uh, editable and I think they get the speed from the emitter uh, I think that if I increase the speed of this emitter they will be yeah they will be faster and yeah and that's, that's the scene uh, I, I, I used here. And that's it. That's how simple it is. And uh, of course, if you have any questions or if you have any, um, you know, ideas on what to do or suggestions, please write them in the comments. If you hate something, you know, just go walk outside in the rain. Uh, for me, luckily, it's, it's raining now after this heat wave. And I will see you uh, in the next video.